Hey guys, good morning. Surrender is a key concept in scripture. It's at the core of a bigger idea called the kingdom of God. Wherever the king is reigning, that is in charge, ruling, is the kingdom of God. And the question always, is he the king of my kingdom? Big question. If he is, I surrender. At the end of Mark 12, there are these verses where we read in verse 41, Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting money into the temple treasury. It was the offering. Many rich people threw in their large amounts, but the poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything all she had to live on. Surrender is the key idea of the entire chapter of Mark chapter 12. It's a series of teachings that hold together like a string of pearls pointing to surrender. The first parable is about the vineyard. The owner of the vineyard sends several messengers to the laborers in the vineyard and they kill every one of them until he finally sends his own dear son and they kill him too. At this, the chief priests and the leaders realized he was speaking about them, that they were the laborers in the vineyard, and the vineyard belonged to God, just like the kingdom. And they plotted to kill him, meaning you cannot have my vineyard, my life, my kingdom. The second teaching I wanna highlight is the one about money. It says here, Give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. This is a famous teaching about taxes. That, yeah, we ought to pay our taxes, but guess what? We ought to give God everything that's his. Now, what is God's? What belongs to him? The universe? The air I breathe? The lungs that breathe this air? Yeah, I, everything. But oftentimes there's things hiding out in my life that are in the closet, that are in the basement that I'm considering still to be mine. We come to the final story and it's the poor widow. She's the supreme example. And we read this big statement, they gave out of their wealth while she gave out of her poverty all she had to live on. She's the ultimate example of surrender. Listen, my experience is that even though I think I've surrendered and I thought I surrendered, the surrender I was supposed to surrender, as I travel along with Jesus, I discover I'm still holding out. There's still some thrones that I consider to be mine. During this lockdown, I've had to surrender a few things. Maybe you have too. I've had to surrender my impatience. Ooh, so ugly, pops up. I've had to surrender my security, which includes not only money, but health, family, my well-being. Will Jesus really take care of me? And then I've had to surrender the big one, my pride. And I suppose he's speaking to you as well. Friends, it's time to let the king be the king of your city gate to surrender. Let's not fight him. Let's let him have it all. Let's surrender. Father, we surrender as we go into this new day from our breath to our thoughts to our family, to our friends, to our jobs, to our well-being. We surrender all because you're good, you're powerful, you're loving, 
and you're here and you know what's best. All that I have is yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's go surrender and live it well. God bless you.